Here we go. So today we're going to do something a little bit different at Revisiting History. One of the biggest things is preservation for me specifically. Um, of course, we have the Salmon Ruins, which has been a pleasure to um, you know inspect. And, and of course, one of the big things is, is, is recording these things with LIDAR. And what is LIDAR? Light Imaging uh, Detection Radar. Um, and basically it shoots out lasers and you can kind of see things from, from a perspective after it's been, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's never destroyed, but if it was, you know, we'd, we'd still have it. So in 1874, <clears throat> we have the first documentation, uh, by Timothy O'Sullivan of the Salmon Ruins, right? And then later on, we have 1877, Peter Salmon at the Homestead Act, getting his his first house which we'll take a look at later but um here we're actually seeing the room and and the area around the room i want to talk about which is in the in actually fully accessible kiva and we'll discuss some of it but um according to the salmon ruins themselves this is the room is one of the earliest converted into a kiva around 11 20 you can see the difference in the construction patterns on the square walls compared to the curved walls. Unlike many other rooms, use of the kiva, the various repairs and modifications continued in the Pueblo and was abandoned uh, in the late 1280s, um, so almost 1300. An interesting uh, and rare find in the room was several pieces of pigmented clay, such as what might be used to make paint for rock art pictographs, um, which actually through Chaco culture is very, very rare. Uh, let's take a look at this up close. And right here we got, um, you know, a Kiva. But one of the things I noticed recently, uh, and I, I haven't seen any actual documentation on this, but uh, these Kivas have six six pillars, basically. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm not sure if there's a significance behind it. Um, <clears throat> it, does, it doesn't appear that there's any kind of significance, but... Um, you know, perhaps it was it was it was just out of the fact that it was easy to do, um, and then of course the T the T shaped uh, entrances that I always talk about, and one of the ways that the archaeologists described was that it was because it was easier for people to get in and out with materials, and not just that this would be actually facing uh, the courtyard. <clears throat> uh, if you look over here, same thing, another kiva. Uh, one pillar, two pillar, three pillars, and then if we can whip this thing around, hold on, we're going to get there. Then, oh, oh, that's the one we looked at already. Anyways, there's a second Kiva, and same, same, same concept. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there in the right hand. Um, but yeah, and then it comes up to another wall. This is, we're talking about at least three, possibly four floors. Um, and you can usually tell because of the wood, but the scans didn't pick up that high. Um, absolutely beautiful site. Um, let's take a look at the Salmon Homestead. And next up, we have the Salmon Homestead, which like I said, um, in 1877, um, the homestead was actually constructed. You can see that it's, of course, time has taken its toll, but, um, you know, still able to hold its, 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 its structure for the most part. Um, let's kind of scoot back a little bit, scoot around it. And you can see, I mean, this would have been a, a fairly decent size house for the time period. And, and what we're talking about here, there's a, there's a little shed off to the side, which is made of mostly adobe, which is, has mostly decayed. Um, but the salmon homestead itself is pretty sturdy considering, you know, eight, 1877. So, uh, th this would have been a, a piece of the homestead act whenever people were given out land, um, for, for fairly cheap. But then again, it was more expensive to get out here, and then you had to actually build your house and deal with the nature. So um, this is the Salmon Homestead again. Uh, like I said, trying to preserve this as best as we can.